everyone and welcome to the Chibitronics YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making this fun card. Join me! To create our circuit today we're going to be using our conductive fabric tape, some blue LED light stickers, and our craft stencil. First we're going to map out our circuit but I wanted to show you that I'm going to use the push button on the front of the card to complete my circuit. So we're going to create a battery housing. So I like to use two batteries. You do not have to use two to complete your circuit. One will do, but it just makes those lights extra bright. So there's our battery housing. Next, we're going to use our stencil and we're going to map out where all of our five LED light stickers are going to go. And I try to kind of line up the surfaces um, so that I can lay down my tape in as much of a straight line as possible. But that isn't always possible and that's okay. There we go, five light stickers and our battery housing. Let's do our negative and positive sides of our circuit. I always start with the negative side of my circuit because it goes below the batteries because I tend to put my batteries in with the positive side up, therefore the bottom side is the negative. So first of all, we need to go underneath the batteries. All of my negative lines are going to be shown in blue. Then we wanna to touch all of the points of our triangles and we're going to make as many straight lines as we can it's not always necessary to do this but it certainly makes it easier to lay down that tape so we're going to go across these two little fellows right here and then we're going to take it across to our other stickers on the other side and it's really as simple as this Take that circuit up across our final fifth sticker. There we go, there's our negative line. Let's map out our positive line. So you'll see when we build our battery housing that your batteries are going to be three dimensional. So we're gonna to have to take out our circuit out three dimensionally. So the line of tape has to cross our battery. So I'm just gonna show that with a dotted line this time and it's going to come out the other side. And then we now have to attach all of those fat pieces of our circuit. And I'll show you this way. So what you can do is you can actually, instead of making it a complete single line, like this one is a complete single line, you can actually branch off and it works just the same. So the same idea goes for the positive side is that you want to touch all of those positive sides of the stickers. And if you have to cross over to create, if you have to cross over a line, that's okay too. You can create a bridge out of any non-conductive material. So even on a card, you can just use a piece of cardstock or a piece of paper that is non-conductive and voila, you created a little bridge over your circuit, but this works well too. And there we go, we have actually mapped out our whole circuit. Now that our circuit is mapped out, let's add our conductive fabric tape. This fabric tape is fantastic because it bends and rolls and tucks all around those corners quite easily. If you bend it back on itself, like such, you can go around a 90 degree corner. So again, we just want to follow that blue line because we're starting out with our negative first. I always start with my negative side of my circuit because it goes underneath those batteries. And I love making my tape a continuous piece. 
You can absolutely cut it into pieces as long as you're overlapping, but I aim to make it one piece whenever possible. I just know that it's going to be un uninterrupted <laughs> if it's all one piece. Okay, I'm just bending it back to get it over those joints. There we go. Negative side, all done. Let's create a little house to hold our batteries in. I am using some three-dimensional foam tape to create a three-dimensional housing for our batteries. And this just helps everything stay in place. Our two little batteries are all safe and sound. Now let's complete the positive side of our circuit. Let's complete the positive side of our circuit and I'm going to start by making the flap that touches our batteries. So today I've used a little bit of vellum so that you can kind of see through it and I'm going to start by wrapping it literally from one side to the other. And I'm doing this because I need to have that fabric tape actually touch those batteries. So this is sticky here once we peel off the paper. And we're just going to basically make it so that it hinges right over top. So to complete the circuit and turn the lights on, I'm just going to press. It's as simple as that, and it completes the circuit. So in this case, I'm just going to use my bone folder to take us down the side. It just helps position that paper more easily, and we're going to follow that red line. In this case, I am going to cut it off at the T. You just want to make sure that your lines do not touch. You want to keep your positive and your negative lines separate. So now I can run a single piece of tape all the way across that red line. And voila, our tape is all down and we only have to add our lights. Each of our LED light stickers are clearly labeled with a minus at the pointy top and a plus at the wide bottom. And all you have to do is peel and stick. It's as simple as that. Voila, let's add all five. Let's check if everything works. Five beautiful, bright blue lights. To finish off the internal aspect of my card, I just added more of our foam tape around the edges of our card. And now I can actually close this up. I tend to send my card so that they can actually be opened and the circuit can be seen. So therefore, all of my foam tape actually is paper topped so it doesn't stick to my lid. But I do add fasteners in the corners, either mini magnets or even tiny little Velcro dots work perfectly too. And let's show you it all lit up from the front. So here we go. We'll just push our contact point and our lights will come on. There we go. Now we have some glowy blue toadstools. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe and I'll see you again soon.